Hey, what's up? It's Tackless, and today we're going to be looking at a Project Spark tutorial on how to make a dorky little coin dropper. And this is a device that when you flip a lever, it drops coins everywhere and you have to go pick them up. So, there we go. That's the idea of it. It's pretty fun stuff. Gives you free money and a little bit of a game because you have to go find all the coins and they'll roll away. Let's see, are there any others around here? There's supposed to be 20 all together. Usually one rolls down here. Oh, Yeti. But that's the idea. Um, so this little device may not be super useful, but there's actually a lot of good stuff you'll learn from this device that is useful. So <clears throat> let's get into it. Okay, I'm on. First things first, I'm gonna delete everything. So for the base of this thing, I'm gonna use a reinforced pole, which you may need to use something else because I think I got this in the castle pack. Next, I'm gonna grab a crate. Angle it a little bit, scale it up just to fuzz, right there, and attach it to the side of this pole. So we're gonna imagine that this thing's full of coins. Now, we're gonna go into the properties of this thing under combat and make it invulnerable so you can't break it. Next, I don't know why I decided to make the item all the way over there. We're gonna grab a trapdoor, gonna scale it down a ways, rotate it, that looks about right. Scale it down to about right there. Place it directly underneath the chest. Now we're gonna go into the brain of this trapdoor and delete everything. We'll get back to the trapdoor in a minute. Finally, I'm gonna grab a lever, which you should have, because I think this is a freebie. Grab a lever, place it, and we need to grab the power tool, which is under the props menu. We'll grab the power tool, select the lever, and select the trapdoor. That way when the lever is turned, the trapdoor opens. <clears throat> we'll go back to the prop. And now we're gonna go into the brain. Actually, first we need to make the coin. So the coin is just a normal coin, but we're gonna modify it quite a bit. So we're gonna remove this yaw slowly. And instead, for the duration of 0.3 seconds, we're going to have it move in direction, and we're going to go over to math, random, random vector. This way, when the item is dropped, it moves in a random XYZ direction for 0.3 seconds. Next, we're going to go into the coins properties, go down to physics, turn collidable on, and turn fixed to tumbling. Next, we're going to go to the brain and make it a template. Now the template means that you can create this object as many times as you want and it won't hurt the original and that this object is invisible until it is created by another object. So now we're going to go into the trapdoor and when has power, we're going to create a child line of code which you make a new line of code, select the number of the code, bump it to the right. So this line of code, this one down here, this line of code won't run until this line of code has been met. So when has power for the duration of, and then this number is how many coins you want to spawn. I'm gonna choose 20. For 20 in frames, this is important. If you leave it just 20, that means it'll spawn for 20 seconds and that'll make a ton of coins. Do create in world picker your coin template. Then, Finally, this way it only ha it only works once. When no longer has power, switch page, next page. This way, when it no longer has power or when you turn the lever off, switches page to this page where there's no code and it will not spawn any more coins. So let's give it a run. All right, here we go. And as you can see, our coin template is invisible here. So let's give it a run. Coins everywhere. 
So then you can run around and pick them up. So um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. That's really all there is to it. Um, if you are going to make this on more flat ground, it's going to stay together a little bit better. Oh, the Yeti. Don't mind him. Oh, wow, that didn't kill him. Anyways, um, I hope this was helpful. Things like the template and the random movement were things that I wish I had learned when I had just started playing Project Spark. So, oh, and let's make sure you can't break the crate. Nope. You can't break the crate, which is important for this kind of thing. You don't want part of the model to break. And the trap door will open and close, but no more coins will fall out. So, that's the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you would like a tutorial made for you, please leave a comment below and I will see what I can do. Um, so, thanks for watching. I will see you guys.